Welcome to a new computer art tutorial and so what we'll be getting into today is doing a little um, editing to an image, a picture of someone who happens to have some face tattoos. And so I've got this guy, Post Malone, up here and doing a little editing to the image uh, that I found in Google Images. Pretty sharp looking photo, I gotta say, but you know, just this is the original here, and you can see that he's got some of these tattoos still. And in my image I'm working with here, I've been able to kind of remove them so we could see what he would look like without them. And, uh, and so that's what we're going to get into this tutorial. So there's two tools we can really use to do that, and that is the heal tool and the clone tool. Those are two main tools in Pixlr that will help us out with doing this kind of thing. And so um, once you've chosen an image of someone that you want to do this to, um, you could choose anybody that you'd like to do. Um, you can just go ahead and right click this image and copy the image, uh, open a new doc in Pixlr. So we'll toggle home for a quick second. We'll want to hit create new in Pixlr E here and go to full HD and we could hit create. I call it face tats. And then we would just hit command V to paste in and then you want to resize, do a little resizing to your picture. Um, you know, if the picture is really small, you'll want to make sure that you maybe choose a different picture or choose a different size for the, um, the canvas you've chosen. Maybe don't choose the full HD option. And so once I get this resized, I would then kind of crop off the extra uh, of the page. So I'll take my crop tool and just kind of bring these sides in and then hit apply. And then it'd be good to go. So um, I might actually just toggle back to the one that I had here. And so you can kind of see, um, it's kind of fun actually to look at the two um, next to one another and just in these tabs, so you can see the work that I've done to, uh, to get to see what he would look like without him. And so let's go into actually using these tools. All right, so um, I'm gonna take my zoom tool uh, and you can always hit the Z key on your keyboard um, to get to the zoom tool really quickly. So just hitting Z brings you there. And then if you hold the shift key, that will put a minus up. And if you let go of the shift key, that'll be on the plus. So always good little things to know about the zoom tools and some of the quick keys that there are on a lot of these tools. And so like the clone tool, the shortcut you can see here is S for clone stamp. And so that's the one we'll get into first. Um, actually, maybe I'll show the heel brush first. So heel brush is quick key is H. Again, we might not, may or may not use this tool too much, but every once in a while you might find use for it. So yeah, look, you know, see if you happen to have, you know, just one of those days where you have a little blemish and happen to be school photo day and you want to do a little work on it. This is how you do it. So the heel tool and just clicking over and repeatedly over a spot with the heel tool will kind of heal up an image um, and kind of blend the colors together there a little bit more. And so, yeah, you can get rid of spots like that really easy, right? And you may be able to see it's still there a little bit. I'll hit Z to go to my zoom tool and then hold the shift key to get minus. And you can see that that looks a little bit better. So anyways, the heel tool is good for some of this, but it won't really do a great job of getting rid of like the tattoo. Like you can see it's kind of working, but you still see that blackness there from the ink. Um, so yeah, it's kind of working, but it's not really blending it away well. So we'll go to the clone stamp tool here. And clone stamp uh, will give you first, it should give you the source, select the source you wanna clone. Um, as an option. So you'll see just like a T like this and you click once and it should shift over to paint. And now if I click again, you see the little crosshair comes up. It's pulling the color from that spot and putting it upwards where I, I would want it to go to kind of cover up this gray spot. And so if I hold shift again, that goes back to the source option. And if I'm holding shift and I click, once and then let go shift it goes back to the paint mode so you kind of just when you're doing this you kind of get and you have your finger on the shift key and your finger on your mouse and you're kind of just like hold shift click and then click a few times to paint and then hold shift and click and then click a few times to paint hold shift click 
paint a few times and it's kind of like a gradual process like that if you really want it to kind of look good and look right and have the light reflections and things like that kind of match up well so again just hold shift you know click a little bit you know and then this tone over here looks like it's different so maybe I'll hold shift click here and you can see I'm getting a little bit of that bottom of the eyelid though so I'm gonna come back over to this side hold shift and click to kind of bring this color back over that so yeah so you get into a rhythm after a little bit where you kind of hold shift click and then just kind of paint a few dots and then you know you want to keep changing your source every few couple of dots or clicks but it's pretty rapid sort of clicking so it's kind of fun and it's kind of just like slow work but it's kind of cool the result and to try and make the colors blend really closely all right so there we go and if i zoom out a little bit with the scroll you can see i've pretty much cleaned them up except for the uh, barbed wire at the top so you can see here what we can do with that clone stamp tool um, clone stamp tool one last thing I'll show just because why not is you know you can take literally something and move it somewhere else basically with the clone stamp tool so I could go to take something like his eye for example so my source is on I'm gonna click right here so this is where it's gonna sample from right and then I could take his um, my brush and move it over here and I could basically paint his eye up on his forehead and give him a third eye right now that's a little crazy <laughs> and then I would probably use the clone tool or the heel tool as well to sort of click along these edges and see if I could make this uh, the edges kind of blend a little bit better. Didn't really work that well on this uh, on the first few clicks over on this side, but it sort of worked pretty well on this side. But I could always jump back in with my heel tool or my clone tool and really you know go back to work on this here and try to uh, blend these in even more. But that I just thought would be a funny way to end this uh, project. You know, after I got him cleaned up, I also went and kind of <laughs> revealed the third eye. So just kind of showing off what the uh, clone stamp tool is capable of and the heel tool. So hope you guys have fun with these tools and, uh, and make somebody maybe look a little bit better, but maybe not at the same time. So anyways, have fun, get creative, and uh, enjoy playing around in Pixlr.